Hello, Randy Rain here, and I've already done a video on the Milton Bradley Pivot Golf. But before there was Pivot Golf, there was Pivot Pull. This is the Alpha Pivot. This is the, that started the whole Pivot Movement, the Pivot Pull. Now, you can find these a lot easier than you can the Pivot Golf. They're still kind of expensive. They've actually remade these, and you can find brand new ones on eBay and Amazon and all those places. So someone's already remade these. And there's not a lot wrong with these things when you get them. Elastic's bad, maybe the felt's bad. They all need new feet and the legs. And that's what's really gonna be the most work here. Now this is a really fun little game. Now I didn't have it growing up. My brother had it, but I do remember playing this one. Unlike the golf, I do remember playing pivot pull. Anyway, let's get this one going. Let's get old George back involved and have some fun. So I have all the balls. You can actually buy the single balls of these on eBay. I, when I got my whole set here, it was missing one ball. It was this one, the seven. I bought it online, except the feet. We'll get to those legs and feet in a minute. Also went ahead, this was being sold on eBay, so this didn't come with that one in, but original instructions as with this. So here's the thing. This elastic is impossible to find. I can't find it. Not that matches this color. I have been able to find colored elastic and I found green. But it's not this green. This doesn't even look green when you put this green up to it. So since even though, you know, this is not in the best of shape of this felt, I went ahead and bought some more felt. I bought some real pool table felt that I'm going to put on here. I haven't got it yet. And then I'm going to put this green in the color of the felt I'm getting is the English green is what it's called so it should be a decent match for the this. You can see on the bottom here I'm missing one the other three are here but these are little wedges that you pop out and you can put them under here so if this thing isn't completely flat and level you can wedge them under here or wedge it under here like that. And the little legs, they go in here. And I cannot find a picture of what they look like online. They screw in, I know that much. But only one has any kind of threads in it. But I'll get to that. Open this up. Actually, I think I'm missing screws. I guess, I don't know, because I only have four screws in this thing. And there's looks like there's places for a lot more. So as I was taking the thing apart, the elastic came off and I put it back. It looks like there's about, yeah, quite a lot that it's stretched out from. And down here, here's where it's connected together. It's like sewn here into together and made this little opening and then it gets put in here like that so I'm take that off 
and that's garbage. This seems to come up, except if you pop, you gotta pop this out, and this will just come up, so. this needs to be. Oh, that's way. That's got to be more than that. Ah, this isn't easy. Try straight pins instead of this clamp, which is a much better idea. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it off. Just so I can use it just like that until I figure out what the tension should be. And I guess the only way to do that is to play it. <laughs> Got to be an easier way of doing this. So I can't find a picture of these little feet bumper things here anywhere online. And all I have here is the instructions that says turn the table over, screw a bumper leveler into each of the four corners. Well, I found that the threads here on this one is pretty much machine threads. But look at that. That's not going to work. And that's the only one with the threads. The others just go right in. So here's my plan. I have some screws. They're going to get screwed into this little piece that I've 3D printed. Then a little rubber screw cap. And that's going to be the foot. And it's going to had to be screwed into some threads, so I have a little nut here, but that's back to the wobbliness. So I have another little piece here that will also be embedded into the bottom. So these two will be embedded into the bottom, and the little plastic will keep it nice and stiff, and the metal threads will actually make it strong. So to do this, I've made a, a jig here. And now I'll use some five minute epoxy. swirl around
too far. That's not gonna help him. Come on. There we go. Well, I got some green felt, and boy, did I get some green felt. So, if you're redoing one of these and you want some green felt, hit me up. I'm probably going to have to make myself a small, like, bumper pool table or something to use all this felt up. But, anyway, this got to come off. I've been playing with it, and I think that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to be sewing that. You see, I was just using some shims here to level it out. I'm going to 3D print some of these. But this has to come off. Now I can actually see what they are without having to break them. Yeah, I can easily make that. So I've noticed it's all frayed right here on the pockets. And everywhere has created a little lip. And that does interfere with playing. So I want to wrap around on the pockets and come into here. But I can't do that everywhere because like right here, it's up against a post. So it has to be cut here. And then if it was just folded over here on the edges, it's now sitting on some on it and not sitting flush and flat on this wood. So that's not good. So here is going to have to be cut. It's going to have to be cut here. But since the pockets are floating, I can bring it and loop it around here. So that's what I got to do. It still kind of feels fuzzy. I don't really know how much I need to sand, but... Alright, I want to wipe it with something. I really don't know what to wipe it with. Water, alcohol, mineral spirits, acetone, paint thinner. Uh, who knows? I'm going to go with mineral spirits. I decided to go with a 3M Spray 90. And I'm doing it inside. Because if I do it out in the shop, there's just too much dust. I know I'll get a little something underneath it. And I'll have to redo it. This is a contact cement. I should be able to flatten all of the adhesive out.
Yeah, there it's nice and coated and whew, I'm high as a kite. I feel like it's mare. Last time you see these because I printed some out. the legs in. Hmm. Now I wonder why there was only four screws in here. And it looks like there might have only ever been four screws in here. I wonder if they like made these and made the mold and everything. Then after a while I thought, you know what, why are we putting so many damn screws in this thing? And so all you need is four. So they only put four. That's my guess. But I discovered they're 10, 24, three quarter inch machine screws. And I don't think this thing ever had a screw in it. And there it is. Well, there you have it. I am really happy that I went ahead and did everything. This is perfect. This is really, really cool. So now it's time to get my friend George back. Now, George, he actually owns a pool table and he's actually really good. And I'm really, really terrible at pool. Like I get the idea of how you play and the physics and where and what I'm supposed to do. It's the, the movement. It's why I can't throw a ball either. So I don't need to know how to do that stuff. I got the pivot pull. This is my chance. Let's see how I stand up with old Georgie boy. So here I am having a look at the footage of us playing pivot pull. Nice. And I can see in the first game, it goes all the way 
and I'm trying to sink the eight ball, and I scratch on the eight ball, and I lose. Oh, lose. Lose. And then in the next game, George sinks the eight ball during the game, and I win. And then in the next yeah. one, George makes it all the way to the end and is trying go. to hit the eight ball in, gets it in, and scratches as well. So that's two wins for me and one for George. And then in the next one, I'm trying to do a combo shot and I knock the eight ball in. So that's two wins for me and two wins for George. Then on the game after that, I go all the way, knocking all my balls in, get it all the way down to the eight ball, sink the eight ball, and just barely not scratch. Win for me. So all the previous games, there was a lot of people around, but this one, we were by ourselves playing, so there was all quiet and no excuses here. And this game went the distance. It got to the end, and there was a couple of chokes by both of us. But George ended up getting the shot at the eight ball, and it came down to this shot. Oh my God. And that means I win. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. It's really fun. There's a bunch of these online, and they want a lot of money for them, so don't really pay that much for them. I, I, just keep a watch out for them. You'll eventually find one that's pretty cheap. Because you're going to have a lot of work to do on it. And if you need felt, contact me. I've got lots and lots of felt left over. And I was going to make another little pool table of myself. A little mini pool table or maybe a little mini bumper table. That might be fun or something. But then I saw how much wood cost. And they can go f*** themselves, alright? So that's not going to be happening. But if you enjoyed this video... Please hit the like, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe, of course. I want to thank these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out and allowing me to do this and show you all this stuff. So thank them, and I thank them. So thank you very much. If you want to become a patron, go ahead and check it out. Anyway, that's it. That is Pivot Pool from Milton Bradley. came out first in 1972. 1972. I was one year old. Okay, eight ball for the win, and the grand champion of all time, and those stupid robots. Oh no, he chokes! <laughs>